hi guys thank you so much for joining me for another video today today we're going to be talking about seeking the lord's plans for our lives eh? um so please do stay tuned keep on watching we will be right back <music> I want to start off with a scripture, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I feel like it was important, so, so important that the Lord told us this, this verse. So many people are out there lost, not knowing what they are here on this earth for, you know. So many times we see people um, confused, you know, chasing everything that is about and in this life. And at the end of the day, they end up saying that it is worthwhile. I mean, it is worthless. It is useless. You know, they did not enjoy their life or somehow they end up wasting their lives Ma mainly, mainly because they did not know what they were here on this earth to do knowing why you are on this earth does not just come like that it comes from seeking god you know the lord says he works in us giving us that desire and the power like to 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 carry out his will and his plan for our lives meaning the bigger picture is god it's already there it is already set up so we have to go to God basically and inquire from him, Lord, why is it that I'm here on this earth? You know, why have you placed me here? The best part out of all of this is when your heart starts to change, you know, just from seeking everything else of this life, of this world and uh, starting to seek that which God has for you. Imagine being created by God, you know who has set out something, a path for my life that I should walk. And I hear, I, I see, okay, the Lord has plans for my life. He has a direction for my life, the way I should walk and all of that. And imagine finding that out. That is one of the most fulfilling things. And I think it is also in an innate desire of a human being to seek what he was created out for and to, to, to do that. If I can bring before you, let's say men and women who know God, people who are walking with God today, people who are known on this earth, these people have sought God. They have sat down at God's feet, not because they wanted God to give them something or to do something through their lives, but because they loved God. They chose to obey God. They chose to follow God in all that they are doing. And in that midst, God placed a desire in their hearts to work for him, you know. I remember there was a time where I had so much time at, at, at hand and I was at home. So every morning I would see God. But trust you me, after a week of seeking God, for a prolonged period of time, I had a desire for God to use me. I started to cry out inside my heart for God to use me. And I knew exactly what I wanted God to use me for. It is in every man's heart. And God gives every man a different desire. So now when God shows you this plan for your life, it need not be a vivid picture. It's, it often mostly comes as a heart desire, you know mostly coming as a heart desire so when he starts to play uh, to place desires for himself into your heart it is for you to decide from this point on um that your life is gonna be like this many people are thrown off track because let's say you know for a fact that god has called you to go to south africa to serve him and all of that this is just an example. It could be anything to open up a business, to do this, to serve him, to what, whatever. But then someone comes with a million dollar offer from somewhere overseas. And then you jump because you saw money and you go. You may just end up missing a chance or a door that God is 
creating for you. This is because the devil also knows that there's a calling on your life, my friend. And there are, there are things that come and derail us from God's purpose. You know, sin, greed, all of these things. So now it is for you to decide how your life is going to be. So that anything else that comes contrary, anything else that shows other fruit, whether it is a person. Some people have um, dreams to serve God with their families, with their husband or their wives. So when you see someone coming and portraying fruit that is not like... Um, that are not Christ-like, you just know already that, no, this cannot be it, you know? So decide how you want your life to be based on what uh, God has placed in your heart and stick to that. Do not be thrown off God. And just one last reminder, continue to seek God for, your, for, for, for what he has for you, you know, for what he has placed in you. You may look at other people who are living this way. Let's say the way God has called them to live. And you are like, hey, like, I just don't know where to start. You know, I don't have a desire for God. I don't know where to start. What I say to you today is go to God and cry out to him. You know, go to God, be honest. Tell him, God, I know you have a plan for my life. What are these plans, you know? You say that you will give me the desire for you. Lord, give me the desire for you. Give me the power to do what you want me to do. Give me this heart to love you. Give me this heart to know you. Give me this heart to seek you. Help me to be pure. It is very, very, very important to live a pure life before God. Because the Lord commands his, his, his blessing where there is purity. Because we also see like in Deuteronomy. I believe it's 28 or 29. The Lord says there are blessings that he's going to command to his people. And there are also curses. But these blessings come when you follow God and when you fully obey him. You know, so the Lord commands his blessing where there is also purity, where there is also righteousness. And the, the word of God honestly proves itself like you reap what you sow. So what I'm saying today is um, continue to seek God. Or if you have not started, start to seek God for his plans for your life. Because I, I tell you, that is the most fulfilling thing. It is the most fulfilling thing. Nothing, nothing, nothing can compare. So that is all I have for you today. From me to Lena, to you, it's goodbye.